Nepal is a landlocked country in South Asia and is bordered by China and India with diverse geography including fertile plains, subalpine forested hills and mountains. It contains 8 of the world's 10 tallest mountains including Mount Everest, the highest point on earth. Nepal is a multi-ethnic country and has a lot to offer. Following are the top 10 things to do in Nepal. Number 10. Shopping for Souvenirs When visiting Nepal, a country west between the mighty Himalayas, brimming with ever-smiling dwellers and timeless culture and traditions, there is a little doubt that you will return empty-handed. In Nepal, you will find all sorts of unique souvenirs to take back with you like Himalayan salt, yakul blankets, singing balls, prayer flags, jewelry, thanga paintings, kukuri knife, handicrafts, lokta paper products, pasmina salts, tea, tiger moving game, statues and masks, spices etc. These are the most popular souvenirs that are taken back home by most of the tourists. The colorful prayer flags, dramatic landscape, serene nature and friendly people. It is hard to detach yourself from loving Nepal. If you are searching out gifts for friends and souvenirs for yourself, take a stroll around the local alleyways and shops. Everyone needs something to keep the memories fresh. Number 9. Visit and experience religious areas and festivals. Nepal is a multi-ethnic country. There are many religions that are practiced here peacefully and happily. Nepal has more than 101 ethnic groups and 92 spoken languages. One of the famous temples of Hindus, Pasupatinath, that also comes in a list of world heritage sites, resides in Kathmandu. It is where Lord Shiva is worshipped. You can also watch cremations being performed on the banks of Bagmati river inside Pasupatinath temple. And also monkeys, yogis, festivals, etc. that are hard to ignore. The famous place for Buddhists in Kathmandu are Swaimunath, monkey temple, Bauddhanath and various other monasteries. Lumbini, the birthplace of Gautam Buddha is also very popular. It is said many people find peace and spiritual retreat here. The tranquility that these monasteries offer will let you come to town with your inner disturbances. You can indulge in deep meditation which will be a truly bliss for you. The monks recite sutras where you can feel the possible vibrations. Feel the vibrations which will make you feel as if you are in trance. Number 8. Visit Darbar Squares the courtyard or the area in front of the royal palaces is called Darbar Square and there are three of that in Nepal, all of which are world heritage sites. Kathmandu Darbar Square, Bhaktapur Darbar Square and Patan Darbar Square, all are best for sightseeing. The Kathmandu Darbar Square is also known as Hanuman Doka Darbar Square, owed to the prominent statue of the Hindu god Hanuman at the very entrance of the square. These Darbar Squares are kingly places, which consist of museums that show the history of the royal livings. These places still have the things that were used in the past by the kings of Nepal. Visiting these places provides a sense of royalness to a person. What makes Patan Darbar Square a special place is that its history dates all the way back to the year 250 BC when the corners of ancient town were marked by stupas. These Darbar Squares provide exciting architectural beauties worth discovering. Be aware though, some of the ancient temples were laid down by the recent earthquake in Nepal on April 25, 2015. Number 7. Homestay a homestay is a great way to get a true insight into the local culture and there are quite a few homestays across Nepal to choose from. Enjoy age-old traditions by living together with the local people. Homestay tourism in Nepal was purposive in providing lodging to the tourists. The diverse geography made it hard to provide facilities or hotels, therefore these kind of services were introduced in Nepal. The good thing is, homestay feels far better than the 5-star hotels. People travel to see and experience the details out of everything. Homestay connects the travelers to the immense details of the place, people, traditions, and culture. Homestay is popular in Galegaon, Siangja, Ilam, Chitwan, Gorkha, etc. Gorkhali are famous in the world for their bravery and courage. Imagine living with them. Number 6. Mount Everest Flight If someone is non-mountaineer and does not fancy trekking, then this is the best option to get the best view of the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. You can book an Everest mountain flight and see the giants from the air. An hour in the air watching the peaks of the world's tallest mountain range with the pilot and crew providing a narration so you know what you are looking at. A panoramic flight over the Himalayas provides you an amazing meeting with the most majestic peaks on the planet like Mount Marlu, Mount Kosai Thaan, Mount Dorje Lakpa, Mount Kauri Shankar, Mount Kumori and the king of all, Mount Everest. If a panoramic flight around the Himalayas doesn't sound exciting, a helicopter tour across Everest certainly will. Hmm. 
thrills and wonders. This could be breathtaking experience. Number 5. Food Nepali cuisine comprises a variety of cuisines based upon ethnicity, soil and climate relating to Nepal's cultural diversity and geography. Dal, bhat, tarkari is eaten throughout Nepal. Dal is a soup made of lentils and spices, bhat which is rice and tarkari which means vegetable curry. Momo also known as dumplings is very famous in Nepal. Even bananas are used to make banana momo. This proves Nepal makes a lot of momo and a lot of variety of momos. Other foods have hybrid Tibetan, Indian and Thai origins. If anyone wants to try something different, he or she has to go to the rural and mountain areas. Because of the cold temperature, people often prefer hot and warm foods like soup, thukpa which is ramen, strong tea and strong alcohols that are homemade. Grain is made into alcoholic beverages. The cattle raised in this region are yak, Himalayan goat and sheep. People raise these animals for meat, milk, cheese and yogurt. Mad honey and dido can be very unique and special experience. Mad honey is a type of honey that could hallucinate you and dido is a millet or barely cooked dough. Strong alcohol like tongba which is millet juice are used in regular diet. There are many ethnic groups in Nepal that means a lot of different and unique food. This could be a mouth watering experience. Number 4 Visit national parks, wildlife reserves and famous places. There are 10 national parks, 3 wildlife reserves, 6 conservation areas in Nepal. Chitwan National Park is Nepal's most popular jungle national park as it is easily accessible from the capital city Kathmandu and popular city Pokhara. The main attraction is one horned rhinoceros. There are over 600 of them. More than 500 species of migratory birds, Bengal tigers, and Asian elephants. Jungle safari is the best way to get all the fun out of these national parks and wildlife reserves. Other national parks like Bardia, Khaptar, Langtang, Sagarmatha, etc. also offer a lot of surprises. The most famous places in Nepal to visit are Kathmandu, the capital city, Pokhara, where you can get the chilling experience by visiting lakes, underground caves, etc. Chitwan, where the Chitwan National Park is located, Lumbini, the birthplace of Gautam Buddha. I mean the list is long very very long number three trekking and hiking nepal is famous for adventure and trekking the terrain of nepalese himalayas offer various stunning trekking routes the best trek or hike depends on his or her choice of difficulty and number of days he or she wants to spend for trek long and short trek can be easily found the most popular and hardest trek is everest base camp trek where the spectacular close-up views of the world's highest mountains can be seen with the height of 29,100 feet above sea level this trek offers you a chance to explore the sherpa villages and their lifestyles some other popular treks are annapurna circuit trek mansalu circuit trek gorepani poon hill trekking langtang valley trek upper mustang etc i mean come on camping near the mount everest that's a bucket list. Number 2. Travel Adventures, Activities and Sports There are a lot of travel adventures, activities and sports that can be experienced here in Nepal like river rafting, bungee jumping, paragliding, zip lining, ultralight flight in Pokhara, skydiving, canoeing, hand gliding, stand up paddle boarding in Fevalek, rock climbing in Nagarjuna and Khumbu mountain, hot air balloon ride, elephant ride, boating in Fevalek, peak climbing, I mean there is a lot, I think I missed some. Paragliding in Pokhara is considered one of the best places in the world for tandem paragliding. Thanks to relatively stable thermals, pretty decent weather year round and the safety net of Pokhara's huge blue lake, the city is perfect for paragliding and throwing some seriously epic views of snow-capped mountains. Boating in Pewa Lake lets you calm your senses and lets you bathe in charismatic beauty of mother nature. The hot air ballooning experience will definitely transport you to the most amazing feeling. Number 1. Mountain Biking Mountain biking trails in Nepal don't only offer the best thrills but also some of the most awe-inspiring scenes. If you are passionate about on-road adventures, think no more. Driving in Nepal probably isn't for the faint-hearted, though those roads can be dangerous and potholes are pretty common. If you are looking for a lifetime adventure, this is for you. For every true rider, mountain biking should definitely be in their bucket list. The unforgettable box of memories that you will carry will be treasured by you for a lifetime. Pokhara mountain bike adventure will show you all trails which you might not have seen before that will truly leave you inspired. One of the most challenging biking excursions can be found in Sipuri National Park. The dirt roads that start off at Bulan Hill Kanta and Trans are hardly ever used and the challenging paths in between simply makes riding all the more exciting. Go and find your inner self. This video is not enough to explain the number of things you can do in Nepal. The nation is small 
but you will be surprised by the existence of its natural beauty and peaceful people. Hope you got something out of this video. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Hit like and comment what you want to see next. Until then, Namaste.